All right, everybody, I just got out of the IDW Star Trek comics panel, and you'll never believe what happened. When I got in there, Heather Antos, the editor of the Star Trek line at IDW, went and talked to some of the employees at IDW. They had people flank me in my seat and actually sit next to me, very uncomfortably, like they were looking at my laptop, looking at what I was writing, and uh, it was obvious that they were trying to intimidate me at that point. They rushed the panel, they did the whole thing, they did not take any questions whatsoever, and people sat next to me, forcing me to stay in inside, like in an interior seat, uh, while Antos ran out of the panel at the end. And then also, they had security outside, uh, standing there with guns. Uh, obviously, they called security on me for being a journalist here and doing my job for bounding into comics, just trying to talk about comics. I don't know what these people are afraid of. I don't know why people within the comic industry act like this, uh, but this is what they're doing. They view us as enemies. They view us as people that they want to call people with guns to come out and uh, harass. And that's what we have to deal with here. But you know what? We're not going to let them intimidate us. We're going to tell the truth about what's going on in mainstream comics. We're going to keep making our own comics. We're going to do what's right here, guys. And we're going to crush this movement and build an independent movement of comics, of books, and of wonderful media going forward. We're going to be covering more Comic-Con as this goes along. I'll be going to Eric July's panel after this, covering his Ripperverse stuff and all the independent great work that he's doing. Thank you guys so much for being there. I appreciate you. Let's go.